Hello, it's me, Dr. Nadal, um, moving into my new place. I thought I'd do a video for uh, Dream Talk, and today's Friday. I usually do a show called Dream Talk, where I talk to you about the dreams that I have and show you how I interpret those dreams. <coughs> Man, it looks really dark now. I used to be lighter. Sorry about the quality of the lighting. This is really bizarre. Let me see if I can bring it lighter. Okay, let's see if that worked. Okay, that's a little bit lighter. Okay. There. <laughs> so yeah, Dream Talk is just a show where I share with you the dreams that I have. And I talk to you about how I interpret my dreams. Um, and I also share some of the dreams you have if you request for me to. And I give you my impressions on them. I'm not telling you exactly what they mean because only you, the dreamer, know exactly what your dream is about. So <clears throat> that's what I pretty much give to you guys uh, on Dream Talk. Today, I, I just want to talk about a series of different dreams I've had, and they've all had to do with driving, um, and deja vu uh, feelings that I've had <clears throat> living in this house, I mean this apartment. If you don't know, I moved from a four-bedroom apartment, um, renting that with my family and a roommate, to living in a one-bedroom apartment with me, my son, and my husband, and the cat that we have here. So um, it's pretty tight. You can catch more about that on my the productive cannabis kind of sewer channel here on youtube um where i have a show called moved in now so i'm on episode 11 now so you can check it out but <clears throat> yeah i'm in here and i've gotten like deja vu feelings and also dealing with like dreams i've had about this area um, before i even moved over in this area i was having dreams about it um in the house that i lived in before here <laughs> and the house before the previous house so i was having like i don't know if it's forewarnings or just signs of what's to come um pretty much i had like in detail of kind of the area here where i'm at but a little bit different <clears throat> that's kind of how the dream world is though it'll work that way it may not be exact but it'll be good enough to give you an idea of what's to come um it's a precognitive dream that I had that was recurring over and over again and it was about me getting lost and trying to find my way around here and I end up having a moment like that here which you can check out more about when I talk about it in one of my episodes on that show I told you about called Moved In Now on the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur YouTube channel. Um, yeah I talked about that um, walking around and getting totally lost and losing my phone having to replace my phone and so if things are a little different if the sound isn't excellent it's because of that I have a new phone I have to get used to all of that all over again so yeah it's it's been quite a change but I've noticed a lot of the bits and pieces of dreams I've had have been showing up in reality seeing things that I saw in the dream world right now here after being here for three weeks now so it's amazing how the dream world gives you, uh, you know, just a little bit of a taste of what's to come and sees what you do with it. I didn't really do much with it. I just wrote it down and just kind of filed it <laughs> so that if it does happen, then I can look back on my dream journal and say, yeah, aha, that did happen. So um, that's what's been happening. A lot of uh, deja vu and a lot of precognitive dreams coming to life. Um, we all have precognitive dreams, but we don't all recall them, so then we just think we don't have any, we don't have any gifts when it comes